Hi. Welcome to the wonderful world of marketing. Uh, today we're going to explore the world of Windows 8 app portals. Uh, app portals are a little known piece of Windows 8 functionality. They're brilliant and they will change your LOB app lifestyle completely. Uh, I'm going to walk through this in a series of short videos, give you a sense of what app portals are, uh, talk about uh, an example that we use today inside the company, and then uh, give you some tips on how to build one yourself. Okay, so let's get into app portals. Uh, this is my PC that I use every day inside Microsoft. I've personalized it. That is my car, uh, covered in rain as usual because it's always raining here. And I'm going to log in. This is my picture password. And now I'm in my start screen. Um, you see I've got sets of groupings like a normal, typical Windows 8 start screen, a um, bunch of different things that are important to me. Um, I'm going to spend my time today in this grouping called App Portals. Uh, now, app portals are actually a brilliant expression of Windows 8 and are part of what makes Windows 8 different from other mobile operating systems. In a typical mobile operating system that you see out there, there's this issue called app fatigue, where you have so many apps, you really can't even find the stuff you want to use. It's very difficult to flip through multiple screens. And those uh, mobile systems are operated in a very flat way. It's really set up as a flat table. Uh, in Windows 8, you can actually drill down and you can nest apps within apps. And that's what an app portal is. Uh, I'm going to go into one right now. So I'm going to use a demo uh, app portal we've built called uh, Sales Productivity Solution. And I'm going to go in, I can choose a persona. So I'm going to choose Shelly. I'll come back to the personas in a few minutes and talk about why that's important. So this, as you can see, is effectively a set of live tiles that are underneath that live tile that I went to a minute ago. And so, if I'm just going to show you that one more time just so it's really clear. Back on my start screen, I click on this live tile here, and I go into another set of live tiles. And I can actually click on these live tiles and go into another set. So we're able to nest live tiles within live tiles and effectively use the OS to create a line of business application. This is an application built out of the building blocks of the OS, so it's incredibly stable. And as we do the demos, you'll see how we're calling on OS functions to make it work in a very fluid and very natural way. So let me show that to you one more time, just in case you missed it. So I'm on my main start screen. I'm going to click on the second live tile down here. And when I click on that, I've got another set of live tiles. So the app fatigue issue goes away because I'm nesting things within logical groupings. So this is an app portal. Uh, this is an example of one that we've built for salespeople. And uh, I'll show you kind of what it includes. Because the cool thing about an app portal is because it is running in the OS, anything that runs on Windows can run in the app portal. And I'll say that one more time. Because anything that runs in Windows can run in the app portal. So on the right hand side here, I've got pinned links. So these are all just pinned links. I can just click on something like, say, District Targets. It auto snaps, that is OS functionality, and brings up District Targets. Let's kill that. Uh, it's also got applications. And two of these applications, Yammer and Skype, are modern apps running on the modern desktop. The other four are applications running on the Windows 7 desktop that's inside of Windows 8. Then we've also got what we'll call embedded apps, which allow me to have BI elements, and I'll do more on that in the next video. So we've got applications, we've got apps, we've got pinned links, and we have embedded apps all running within one single app portal. It allows you to effectively create a dashboard and a one-stop shop where all the stuff you need for your job is in one place. So we're going to stop there today on this video, and I'll be picking up a little bit more of a demo of how all these different pieces work together in the next one. And thanks for joining us on the wonderful world of marketing.